Hello and welcome to The Alexander Show. Today, my guest is actor Danielle Lawson, who will be on the show to discuss her character, Aisha Price, in the new movie, King Richard, alongside Will Smith. King Richard is the biopic retelling of the rise of Venus and Serena Williams into becoming two of the greatest tennis players in history. So, without further ado, Alexis, run The Alexander Show. Running The Alexander Show. Hello, Danielle. Hi. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. I Watched King Richard is an amazing film. Yeah. Uh, when you got the script, what was the first thing that went through your mind? I was super excited to first even um, read a script for Mr. Will Smith and Mr. Ray Green, and I was super, super excited and a little bit of nervous. There was some pressure because um, this cast is such an amazing cast. Everyone has so much experience. So I really wanted to, um, you know, just put my best foot forward and do well, and it was really exciting. So I understand you played, you, you were going for multiple roles yeah. in the entire movie yeah. before landing on Aisha Price. Yeah. Um, what was that casting process like yeah. throughout that? Well, I first auditioned for Venus and then it was about six months later, I got called in to read for Lynn Price, which is one of the sisters. And then I read for Isha and then I was pinned for Lindrea. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna get Lindrea. Oh, wow. And then they decided that they wanted me for Isha, and I was super, super happy, and I feel like Miss Isha was a perfect fit for me. So when on set, was it hard for you to play a real-life character, and did you actually get to meet Aisha Price in real person? Yes, I met Miss Isha a while back, um, Wow, almost two years now, and we got to sit down and just talk and get to know each other. She's a, an amazing person. She's a lawyer, and I really got to learn about her family dynamic and how life was for her as a kid growing up, you know, being the sister of Venus and Serena, and just every day going to tennis, going to school. And so it was pretty cool to learn about her, and she was there on set with us every day. I didn't really feel any pressure having her there, but I felt it that it was like pretty helpful for her to be there and to give us instruction and insight. So do you, do you play tennis? I don't play tennis. So <laughs> when on set, did you actually learn how to do the whole tennis? Actually, I didn't have to play any tennis during the film, but um, on our off breaks, I would play with Demi and Sanaya, my co-stars, and it was really fun because they actually had to train and, you know, work out every single day, even months before we started filming. So they're pretty much pros now, so I got to practice with them, and I think I got a little better. <laughs> so uh, with Will Smith and everyone else, was it, as you know, you, you, as I just realized, you, you, you did play tennis. Um, off screen, but was it all, all work and no play sometimes, or was it was it like always fun for you? What what was the dynamic there? It was always fun. Each day was super fun. We made TikToks. We had piggyback rides. A lot of singing and dancing, um, on and off screen. We became so close and. All of the girls started hanging out like outside of um, set, so we go to dinner together. We go to the pier and just have so oh, nice. much fun. That's so cool. What do you love most about your character? Did you have any like nervous tics or anything like that that you love particularly loved about I Aisha Price or anything like that? Yeah, well, I think Miss Isha is so supportive and I can really relate to that. I have siblings and um, I feel like they're so supportive of me and it was really nice to see how supportive she was of her sisters and encouraging and how she just really wanted the best for them and she was very protective. I love that. What's next for you? Yeah, well, I'm just auditioning a lot right now. I just booked a commercial, so I'm super excited, and I get to film Ooh. next week. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I'm a senior in high school, and I graduate in a few months, and I'm super excited. I'm going to college soon, and I'm staying in California, but I'm super excited. I hope to study film. I'm a freshman myself, so I, I can only imagine what it's like <laughs> to be a senior and the whole essay writing and everything for all these <laughs> colleges and yeah. just dishing them out. Uh, what what are your goals for university and where do you where do you plan to go? Yeah, well, my dream school would be UCLA, 
And um, like I said, I hope to study film and also continue my Spanish. I love to see, speak Spanish. And I've been practicing that for a few years now since I was in eighth grade. So I'm just really excited for this new chapter in my life. That's actually really funny because I was actually born in Spain. Wow. I used to be fluent in Spanish, but I'm still polishing it yeah. up. Uh, are there any languages that you actually hope to take in the future or any other, you know, languages that you want to learn? Yeah, well, I hope to learn Mandarin. I think that's a really cool language and uh, Demi was teaching me a few things on set. So, yeah, I hope to learn that. I wonder what Mandarin would be like. So, like, I feel like I've heard that it's a really hard language to learn. Yes. Because yeah. it's not like, it doesn't use the standard English-based alphabet, the Latin-based right. alphabet. Right. So, when you learned that on set, um, did you learn to read anything or? Oh, no, 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 no. She was just teaching me basic <laughs> words. I honestly don't even remember, but I just know it's like a pretty beautiful language and it's kind of complicated. So I want to, you know, try it. Why not? Yeah. Okay. So this next part of the show is called quick fire questions. I'm going to give you a bunch of quick fire questions for you to answer. Okay. You're going to answer them as rapidly as possible. Okay. You ready? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, favorite William sister. No, 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 I can't answer that. I can't answer that. I plead the fifth. Came off really harsh. I, I came off really okay. harsh with that one. I'm sorry. Oh my god. All of them. I love all of them. Okay. The whole room just went, oh. That's a trap. Trust me, the rest of them are easier. If you were an animal, what animal would you choose to be? I'd be a sloth. Wow. I did not expect that. Yeah. Favorite color? Blue. Favorite food? Seafood. Favorite city? Mm, Culver City. <laughs> uh, favorite movie of all time? Dreamgirls, um, Cinderella with Brandy, and Love and Basketball. Okay. If you could speak any language, what would it be and why? Mandarin and French. I think French is so beautiful. And I learned a little when I was young, but I love to, you know, continue it and go see the Eiffel Tower. Are you involved in the whole TikTok dancing thing? <laughs> yeah, I, I love to TikTok. I don't post any of my videos, which I should, but they're all in my drafts. That was great. It is time to take a break. So we'll be back with more of The Alexander Show. Stay tuned for more of The Alexander Show. Hello and welcome back. This next part of the show is called Game On. Today, we are playing the game, What's the Link? Here are the cards. Each of us will pick one card each will have seven words on it. We'll think of a phrase to link the word on the card. For example, if the word is freak, one of the players with the card would have to come up with a sentence for it. You may say, I got into a freak, and the other person would guess the finishing sentence. So, I got into a freak. Accident. Exactly. Or, during lockdown, I was home. A lot. That is close, oh, but it was actually homeschooled. That, that's actually, that actually works. But yes, you, you get the general yeah. idea. Okay, you seem ready. So I'm gonna shuffle the cards, just, just a selection of cards. And I'm not gonna look at them. And we're each gonna pick one card from the deck. I'm a horrible shuffler. <laughs> okay. So there. Other cards. Now, I'm gonna pick one, okay. and you can pick yours. So, do you want me to go first, or do you wanna go first? You can go first. Okay. So, question number one is, someone stole my credit card, and I got into an identity. Crisis? Yes, okay. identity crisis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I went to my friend's house and I got in trouble with my parent, so I told a very big... Lie? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. My friends were too close to me, so I told them I need some breathing... Space. Yes. My turn? Okay. Um, in science class, we had a project where we'd take a balloon and rub it on our hair and that would create a lot of... Friction. Energy. Static. Static. <laughs> Static. I went on my phone and 
on my wallpaper, it is also called a screen. Saver. Yes. Okay. Yes. When I got in trouble, I gave my parent a very big... Check. Another word. No, <laughs> not check. <laughs> check. <laughs> when I got in trouble, I gave my parents a big check. Apology. No. Oh, apology. Okay. Um, I went to the store and I didn't have much money. So when I bought some clothing, I had to come up with a counter. It was too much, the item was too much, the item was too much money. And so we had an argument and I came up with a counter. Uh, argument? No. <laughs> counter. Uh, so. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually harder than I expected. Okay. Um, I came up with a counter blank for this item to save me money. A counter offer. Offer. At eight years old, I was in the baseball little league. Yes. That's the end of my cards. That's the end of mine too. That's all we have time for today on The Alexander Show. Danielle, how can people find and connect with you? Yes, you can follow me on Instagram at Danielle Denise Lawson and on Twitter at Danielle underscore Lawson. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more of The Alexander Show and future episodes, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Alexander James Rodriguez and follow me on all social media at I am AJ Rodriguez. Until next time. Alexis, close out The Alexander Show. Closing The Alexander Show. Thank <music> you.